What you are about to experience is based on real paranormal events. Research of the occult has shown that heightened moments of emotion like fear can encourage the manifestation of hauntings. If, after playing the game, you experience abnormal happenings around your home or have sudden changes in the behavior of yourself or loved ones, reach out immediately to your local church and paranormal investigators. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. All right. So I think I was getting this confused cool. with the the autopsy simulator game that I did. Tommy played piano like a kid out in the rain. Then he lost his leg in Dallas. He was dancing with a train. They were all in love with D.Y.N. They were drinking from a fountain that was pouring like an avalanche coming down the mountain. I don't mind the sun sometimes. The images it shows. Smoke a loke's niece is named Majula, and I guess that is cool. Cinnamon. Cool. Th hey, Teveson, thanks for the 31 months. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, are we ready? We gotta clear the list. We gotta clear it. I'm guessing you've been listening to the butthole surfers today, Teveston. Thank you, give her the 31 months. Welcome back. And as per usual, um, if you wanna if you wanna rescue your fellow churchgoer from the ad apocalypse, consider gifting a sub to the Church of Skin Teen. Oh shit. There we go. Now it's out of the way. Okay, uh, let's get started here. Options, volume, look sensitivity. That's huge. I think it's hilarious when they do that. We'll take it down. We'll take it down a notch. Um. Don't skip the tutorial. Subtitles, absolutely. Okay. Are you? Is everybody? Who's scared? Show of hands. Tag, thanks so much for the five gifted subs. Trav says the downside of the lifetime sub is he's been robbed of the months upon months of clever TTS. You know, I could create like a special thing for you that only you could use where you just come in and you're able to do that. Like, one command for Trav, so that he can just proc his own, like... text-to-speech... thing. And we- I- yeah, we- I could just pretend it's like a sub-alert. Like, I could even make it a sub-alert. You could just pre like... He's got a lifetime sub. It's... We're not married yet, but that's... close, because... He never has to pay for a sub in my channel now. He has a lifetime- and I can't take it back. That shit's ironclad, man. That shit's ironclad. How did he get that? Because we live together. That's how he got it. <laughs> yes and death's up. Every streamer, every partnered streamer is given like I think three three lifetime subs. That they're allowed to, to give out to... I think it's three. If there's, a, there's like a small number of lifetime subs that they're, they're able to give out. And um, he has one of them. Echo has the other one. I don't remember if there's a third one. Uh, I, and if there is, I don't know who I, I don't think that I don't think I've given a third one out. I think those are the only two. Nine days, 100 month sub anniversary here? I don't feel like that's possible. Baklop made a good funny. Let us call it a trap to speech. Haha. Well, you have you have some for bots. There's so there's two different ones. There's ones for bots, and there's ones. There's just n normal ones. I'm quite certain that is how it works. 
I know, I'm pretty sure I gave one of them to Bot Roast. One to, oh yeah, no, some, some streamers like, uh, Felicia Day and, uh, Jesse Cox, they had the option, I, and I think it's because theirs is predicated on a contract that says, uh, something about the, that stuff going to charity, I don't know, but th that's different, that's different, um, but I know what you're saying, I know what you're talking about. Why would I waste it on a bot? Well, because Bot Roast at one point was the bot that I was using all the time. I should get the name Bot Roast. I should get that information from Fizz and bring it back. But just use it as the thing, you know? I just, I didn't make Bot Roast. Fizz, Fizz did. Okay, so are we ready to start the Mortuary Assistant? Are we, is it time? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I, w I did. I did give. I did waste the lifetime sub on a boy, as Captain Swiggy said. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that. But I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come so T far. Tuesday. So that. That is Tuesday months? Gray. Will you get a job where you, you are, can't tell me it's not. They actually have everyone they need. It sounds Perhaps like her. My old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. I'm messaging her no, right now. I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. Sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. Um, I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. Just take the Should damn anyway. thing. <clears throat> Thanks. All right, enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Sounds like you got some work that's heading your way. So I messaged to I, Tuesday. I said, I'm pretty sure you're the main character in this game I'm playing right now. Her name's Rebecca, but I'm not convinced. The autopsy of Jane Doe. That's the moot. Have I seen that? I don't... Let me look. I don't think right. I have. Here we go. I'm gonna watch it now. I finished- Oh! I finished The Handmaid's Tale. I'm not gonna get into it, because Trav wants to watch it now, so I gotta re-watch it, but... Uh... D like... Man. Man. Wait, coffee bed? Oh. Co mm. Oh, I thought that was going to break. Maybe it will if I go... Nope. Okay. Duh. Oh. That, what is going on here? 
it's a painting, but it's like my own. It's like a glamour shot of myself, but it's why is this in the mortuary? Why is what's what's the deal there? Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks. Zoe, P.S. Good sign. Thanks. Pencil. Use to sign the paperwork left on the door. So take it. Okay. Uh, access quick inventory and choose the item you wish to use. Uh, that's right click. Okay. Most but not all places where items can be used will cause the use item icon to appear. Okay, I see. I understand. Man, I love games where you get to open drawers. My favorite genre. Stapler. Oh. Mirror works! And you can flush the toilet. It's a real game. We're gaming now. I don't know about it. Rebecca. Ah! Great. Perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Ms. or Mrs. Moving the deceased. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key, then walk backwards down the hall. Okay. Gurney interact key. Backwards down the hall. I'll, I can't look up and I can't look behind me. I just have to trust... To bring a body in and out of cold storage, open the bay with the body's name, pull out the rack, then move the cart over to it. <gasps> oh. What's up, Cap? It's a dead guy. Can we, can I just, I wonder, I wonder. Whoa. All right, that might be too sensitive. We might've gone a little too far. Somewhere in the middle. Just, it was a problem. It was a little bit of a problem. Okay. That's easy enough. Let's go. Let's go. Hang on, hang on, anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. My... The girl that I hung out with in high school for the last couple years, uh, um, she was going to college to be, a uh, uh, for mortuary science. So, uh, several times I had to go with her to, like, do... Not this specifically, but she had to stop off at, like, a funeral home to, like, pick something up or whatever. I 
I never saw anything quite this wild. I did see a couple of dead bodies. All right. I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Okay. Clipboard. A clipboard used for forms and keeping track of mortuary tasks. Large item. View clipboard. Put clipboard away. Yeah, this is different than uh, what I was picturing. I did a um, I did a demo I think like a year ago for a game called Autopsy Simulator, which was um, absolutely bonkers. This looks great though. Hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises, and interact with them to record them to the clipboard. Oh. Oh. Um, that's weird. Oh, what the fuck is that all about? These old windows never stay latched. That's your response? It's like a cigarette burn. Um... Esrad, thanks for 31 months. Welcome back. Rotate. Okay. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. Zoe? After that, we'll get started. What do we got here? Dorothy Page, 87. Contusions on her head. Right shoulder. Weird rash on her left arm. A mole on her leg. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. You want me to go to the computer here? There's no way this computer was this high tech in 1998. Mm -mm. Oh, maybe not. Riverfields Network, how to. Fire. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y yeah, I'm chill. I'm, I'm chilling. Riverfields Network How to to enter cadaver information. Click the record system icon to open the program. Match the sections on your clipboard to the corresponding sections on the computer. Once all findings have been entered into the system, click submit to print out embalming records and file the records up front to begin the embalming. Um. Left shoulder, right shoulder, left leg, left arm, right arm. Her left shoulder is like the only thing that was chill there. Hmm. 
The true horror is the dot matrix. Um, a packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so they are available if requested. Are you satisfied? Time to embalm. Oh God, here we go. All right, I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Let's cut him up. Yeah, 71 months. Leg kick, hey, thank you. I wonder. Doesn't exist. Never mind. I was like, where's the damn six feet under theme? Because that's what I need right now. I don't think I'm going to find it, though. Okay, so... You've set everything up for me to... Oh, jeez. Oh, God. A wipe used to moisturize the skin of the deceased... Setting needles, barbs with a length of wire used with a needle injector to wire the jaw shut. A tool used for hammering setting needles into the skull. Scalpel. Eye caps to hold the eyelids shut. PVC tubing for various medical Can't hold anything else. Applicate oh, okay. Um artery forceps. A trocar used for injecting cavity fluid directly into the organs. And an IV I can't hold anything reservoir else. bag used for embalming fluids into organs and cavities. Okay. I have two spaces, what do you mean? I guess... I can't use that here. Y okay. Um... Can it put everything down? Large items are held in your hands. If both hands are full, you will need to drop a large item before picking up another. Okay, okay, I understand. Um, after selecting an item, its description will appear below it. If an item can be dropped, a drop button will appear under the item description. Drop it. That's exactly where that goes. Okay. I don't have my clipboard. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Just gonna... Oh. Setting the face. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull. Then twist the wires ah! to shut the jaw. Oh. Whoa. Uh. Whoa. Uh. Hang on. She's so pretty. What am I supposed to do here? Give me the tutorial again. Oh. 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 Oh, oh my. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. 
We we did it. Placing eye caps. Use the manipulator to open the eyelid completely. Interact with the eye to place the cap. Oh. All right. All right. So they spared us having to plug up the other holes. If you feel me. Um. Oh, one of these. Okay. A chemical used to hold formaldehyde in solution by preventing polymerization. Take it. Can't hold anything else. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. That just keep doing your thing. Okay. I'll get it. Okay. Just throw it all in there. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Next thing. Cavity fluid. This is where we take the bag. Can't hold anything possibly, else. possibly that. That's not it. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I can't use that here. I can't use that here. Okay. All right. That's not it. I can't use that here. Just checking. It's getting a little hot in here. With you just staring me down and her just there. Um You know, man. I'm gonna close the door. He's just menacing. Some items need to be used directly on the body. To use an item, open quick inventory and select the item needed. I'm missing something. You're missing the PVC tubing. Maybe. I'm missing something. Oh. Take that. Get in there. Okay. To 
The night's the night. Garrett, thanks for gifting a sub to Rinny. Sorry, okay. Um. Um. Okay, we can probably. Take that out. Alright. Okay. Well. Insert the trocar unit until it stops to begin the flow of embalming fluid. Once the cavity is full, put the trocar back, rotate it, then reinsert until the reservoir bag is empty. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Now where do you want me to go? We washing their hands. Hey, Peach, what's up? Oh, flow clean tank cleaner, a solution of corrosion inhibitors. Add des uh, descaler to create the mixture needed to clean embalming machines. All right. Seems like a lot. I can't use that here. Okay. Oh. Just want to make sure it's not doesn't get, you know, dirty. We we want to be on the up and up here. <clears throat> I should play like Happy Humble's Burger Farm after this. Just so there's no question as to what's really going on here. Okay. That's done. Oh, I dropped all of my checklist stuff. I've I've been operating on instinct as somebody who in no way took mortuary science as a major. That's crazy. Apply moisturizer to facial features. Moist, uh, move the wipe across the facial features while holding down. Okay. Got it. Ah! Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? What the? I'll ah! take over from here. Why would you? Just, 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 uh, just don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Okay, thanks. Apply moisturizer to facial features. Return to... Okay. Go ahead. It's fine. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. Okay, I'm leaving. That was an easy day at work. Just... It was just really weird. 
though some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <sighs> yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. What does that That's, mean? Uh, actually, why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers. Oh. No one else can make it in right now. Oh. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. S Rad, thanks. Holy shit. That was him. Again for the 31 months. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> see? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. What's I'll up with my later. apartment? My apartment's really weird. Can we walk? Can we just assess the situation? Where are my keys? Okay, good. Because I'm. This is very weird. This, like, this whole situation right there. What's that all about? I've never seen anything like this. A leg kick. Thanks for the seventy-one months. Kikirits. Thanks for gifting a sub to Rini. Us. <laughs> oh yeah, my sorny. I'm so sorny. My sorny plow station. God, Grandma's ominous picture. Hmm. Just taking a quick look around here. preservation how people use it to cope with death when coping with the loss of a loved one how do we move on for many seeing the memory of their loved one preserved helps obtain a sense of closure but what do we begin but when did we begin this pr process of preservation how does the embalming process of today differ from the methods of the past in this work by Rotwell, we explore the history and methods of embalming and preservation. When we embalm, we preserve love. Botwell. Rotwell? Botwell. Death and decay. This is a book about death and decay. I deep look into the process that happens after we die. The pages in this book are not for the faint of heart, but it is the honest and blunt truth about what happens to our organic matter after the heart stops. Cool. I don't think it's, I don't think that's Cheetos, man. I don't think that's mac and cheese. I'll leave it on. <laughs> the level of detail is phenomenal. <laughs> this, board, this board shirt.
donut stuff. Brown water that you drink. Damn, I might have to get some brown water that I drink. I mean, it's kind of a nice place, except this weird situation here. It supposedly doesn't have bees in it, but they keep putting it on the box that it's got bees in it. Okuo's, the cereal that does not have bees in it. Long ago, Donald McMulliman hatched one simple idea. What if bees were in cereal? An idea that would not be accepted today or even in McMulliman's time. It didn't stop him from innovation. Not long after Okuo's were born with the original recipe of mashed bees and the well-known slogan, it's got bees in it. After multiple recalls spanning multiple decades, the Okuo formula has been adjusted to fit our changing times. We are proud to say that Okuo's cereal uh, certainly does not contain bees. However, we hold on to our founding slogan to remind us of our rich past. It's got bees in it. M moth bombs. This product contains chemicals known in every state to cause different kinds of bowel obstructions eventually resulting in death. B wait, bones you can eat? Bombs you can eat. What's this one? Luna bits. Heart good. Kind of tastes like leaves with sticks. Our goal is to make the most wholesome cereal just like grandma used to make 400 years ago. We harvest the fallen leaves of our oak trees deep in the fall months and dry them by hand to achieve that crunch we all love. After removing the sticks, we grind our leaves, then add the sticks back in. This process ensures the same great natural bite enjoyed by humans and horses alike. Fantastic. Can I go in there? No. It's kind of like a hotel room. With no bedroom. You know? I was waiting for the ad to finish so that we could get back to, um, the morgue. I think it's about done. Temporary items. Do not take up space in your normal inventory. Use a temporary item by directly interacting with the object that requires it. Oh shit. Happy Tofu. L wolf. Wolfios. There's food in here! Mozzarella. From like Target. Milk. Something organic. That's yeah, pretty much it. Same song. I kind of want Trav to take that now, you know? Riverfields Mortuary. All right, I guess I'll head to the back and get started. What? It's... oh. We're clo... We're... What shenanigans here happen? We're closed. Tuesday! Thanks for the 76 months, you're in this game. Hi, Rebecca. <sighs> Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. Yeah, this is very sudden, but listen to me. We 
have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning what? that it was here, um, let alone bound to you. What? I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you. Or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on Is the Is this desk. a hazing? I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. Are you hazing me? No, wait. Ugh. Damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. See, she kind of sounds like you, okay. and this is so stupid. I don't think I can look just in the some hazing for the new girl or something. I just said that. She kind of looks along. like you. And do your job, even though not maybe here, but um, tape recorder and some keys. quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? I mean, it's weird. All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. <laughs> if this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's um, name. Oh. Bind it to its chosen body and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. This cabinet? Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. You... <sighs> this is insane. Whatever. Just... Professional one, grab a body and get started. Whoa. Yeah, screw all of whatever <clears throat> this is. I'm getting back to work. What the fuck? This was not in the job listing. I'm closing all this shit. A small cassette labeled one night shift system. The night shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Personal. The Book of Typhon conversa uh, conversions. Typhon walked among his disciples and he spoke. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve. Those who truly believe for all who are signed to the halls of hell. Ah! Seven, abandon God as he has abandoned you. Bring Lucifer into your hearts and revel in his glorious sin for all are damned. There is no hope for God. All are marked for the house of houses of hell are all hopelessly lost. You have been left behind. And as he passed, what, what in the hell kind of job did I sign up for?
two, tools of expulsion. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. I didn't... Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Okay. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. This is a lot. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. Okay. When the paper <clears throat> busts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture, anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. None of this is simple. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Punky with a side of fries. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. I do that all the time. Does that... Carefully. If oh. you notice anything strange, <clears throat> it's starting to take hold. I don't like it. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Well, I guess we should check right now! Pen pencil, notepad. Okay. Oh, right there. Can be used to check how far one has slipped into possession. Use an inventory. I think we're fine. Um... A special piece of scripture with the ability to reveal demonic markings. When a demonic marking is near the parchment, will smolder and combust, bringing the marking into the material world to be found. That doesn't seem good. Oh. Oh, hey. It's like a... Like a fancy Z. Looks like that. So... What? shift database a computer program combining all my findings into one reference point the database contains all the information on the process of expulsion the tools used jade's channel is like the hotel california the i guess lul if you ever forget what to do 
play these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. So wait, he's got his ID card? Motherfucker, what? To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. At least I can keep track of things. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Have you made the bereaved vomit? Second, Teen sip. The bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. Not yet. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Final exclamation the point of atomic the right are called letting scripts. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin Come the Uh-oh. Lord Shit. have mercy, thanks for 75 months in the opium. Thank you for the 19 months. Okay, time to do everything's fine. Just go back to work. No worries whatsoever. Everything's just great. Wait. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. Rotate. Nothing there, it would seem. Oh. That's not great. There we go. Corbel Borb, thanks for the 70 month resub. Welcome back. Thanks to it, yours, Angus, for my sub gift. Blue. Yeah, that guy. Twenty-three. Jeez. Right arm. I 
I need to file the copy up front. What the hell is going on here? Gonna file this copy. It's uh, time to embalm. Are we? That might be concerning. That might be cause for concern. Dude, I don't know what direction I'm supposed to put these in. <laughs> Seriously. What? What? Okay. Okay, so now we gotta embalm this lady. Wire jaw shut with needle injector and setting needles. Let's go! There we go. Who's who's in there laughing though? I'm a you insert eye caps to keep eyes shut. Wait. My caps. Uh oh. All right. Um. I'm just gonna close that. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Mix embalming fluids in the pump. Flex bag. And there's one more. It might have been this one. Maybe. Uh, 
that's not it. Okay. Tissue builder. Whoa. Oh, the access card. Um, for body pickup? Okay. Wait, there's keys. Extra keys. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low. And you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things easier for everyone. L large old key. to use this shit. I was wondering. I can't hold anything else. This game is dope. Fraggle the Fraggle, thanks for the five months. Make an ins- okay. Make an incision in the carotid artery. And then I'm gonna need, um the tubes and the um no um They were bigger. Yeah, I don't even know. Listen to the thing again. You should have fucking died. I will slit your ass open, and your last vision as they wither will be of the flesh being peeled from your legs, and all that will be left is eternal pain and darkness. You will beg me to take your pathetic carcass. Oh, I guess then you're not seeing if you notice anything strange. It's starting to take hold. That was definitely strange. Um, that was definitely what? Hello. Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca. Oh, did I just call myself? Extremely subtle. 
Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. We must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. That's what I'm trying to figure out, this anywhere. process. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture, anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Night shift access code. Ah! Um... Okay, that's what I thought he said. Judge! One, two, seven, eight, one. Or wait. Oh boy, okay. Remove tubes, close incision. Fill an empty reservoir bag with cavity fluid, then insert trocar into abdominal cavity. Right. Um, this database is a collection of all my findings related to the banishment of covetous demons. The history of the demonic and the tools I have found through my research. Years of traveling and piecing together whatever relics remain have been compiled here. The navigation bar at the top right leads to the following subsections. Identifying demonic tenancy. While learning the name of the demon's is more important about uh, demonic entity is more about waiting identifying which body is experiencing demonic tendency requires paying close attention while any of the bodies can be manipulated it is far easier for the entity con to control its own vessel sudden movements large or small could be a sign of tendency if a body appears to be more active than others or strange markings start to appear it may be signs of demonic tendency However, the demon's trying its best to remain elusive and may manifest these manipulations over other, on other bodies, which is why it is important to take note of which body is experiencing these events. The more events linked to a specific body, the more likely it is to be the chosen vessel. The appearance of new markings on the body. Um, when a demonic entity is present, the vessel in its it is occupying may form markings not previously observed. Inspecting a body additional times is important in spotting these... I'm missing something. Am I? I mean, that's where the trocar. I'm at. I'm at that stage. Um. 
A body with a demonic inhabitants may display sudden movements, as these movements can be as small as a twitch of the fingers or large as full body manipulation. All right. This working? Yeah. This thing is huge. She's been relatively unremarkable. Uh, I guess. Um, this is David. Raymond, this feels insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. There it is. Fuck. Whoa. Fuck! I wanted to see that again. Sigils of the Covetous Demon. Each of the covetous demons belong to one of the three houses of service in the halls of Satan, the houses of sin. A demon's true name is composed of four sigils of bondage. Below are the three houses to all known covetous demons within them. Immolation, Invidious, and Desolation. Oh. Um. Holy shit! I have an invidious card too. Um, hmm. So far, those are two of the the sigils that I've got. Maset. I think that's I think that that's the one. Ooh, things are changing, things are changing. What's happening? Oh, we need to work. We need to work. We need to work. Fill an empty bag with cavity fluid. Yeah, 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 bag fluid Mix cleaners and bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into embalming pump. Oh. I'm gonna see some shit. I'm freaking out, man. on the set of American fucking horror story. Uh, moisturizer. All right. Um, so, hang on. I think it's back here. No, 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 get, get in there again.
Um. Okay. Maybe you'll maybe we'll see something else again. I don't think I can undo this once it's been done. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't matter what order they're in. I feel like that's very crucial. I'm going to put them in anyways. Hey, Alias, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Welcome in. Um, I have some concerns about this. Um, I can't use that here. Yeah, well, I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. Return the body to cold storage. Oh. Uh... There we go. Michelle. Put it, get, all right, okay. Put her back in there for now. The demon has to choose a body still. So, uh, what was, how was your stream? What were you up to? Were you playing this as well? Because... Uh, hi there, hi. Um... No. 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 I'm just going to take it. There we go. Okay. I got one of the names. Now I must get another body from cold storage. It's a little unintuitive, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pedro Sims. Let's go ahead and close that real quick. So welcome in. Hope your stream was good. You guys should uh, give Alias a follow. Plays a lot of horror games. Good people. Good conversations. And you kind of remind me of my friend Tuesday, who is probably lurking. Who I said was in this game, because I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. So what I'm saying is, I think you guys are in this game. Alright, okay. Um, so... Excuse me? Uh oh. Um. I'm taking one of these. I already have one of those. Okay. Let's just, let's take it out again. Let's 
Let's do a lap. Oh my god, I can leave. On second thought, I don't know that I want to be out here. Just leave and never come back. Close that. All right. Pedro Sims, age 39. Nipple. Um, what? <gasps> oh. got something on his foot that I don't think I saw there before. There we go. I'm kind of glad that when she, when I've got everything, she there's like an audible. Um, entry to Pedro. Sims, 39. Mole, he's got a contusion on his left shoulder. Some blemishes. I keep looking up above the screen. He's got a rash on his arm, mild abrasion on the leg. Checking. Just making sure. Don't you know what? Hello? Hello? Why are you still doing this? I'm going to kill you, Rebecca. <gasps> it's a it's a pretty uneasy game. I've 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 I'm really digging it because it's so uncomfortable, you know? Like, it's probably one of the most, like, my, I, I'm trying to think of, like, a good, a good way to put it. It's semi-far removed from, from a scenario that I've been in. It's complicated, so you already know it's got the, it's predisposed to, like, some kind of jump scare that I'm okay with because we're in, already in like a creepy situation. Oh. I can't hold anything else.
No, I, I said unfamiliar situation. But I, I did say at the start of the stream, I had a friend who was training to be a mortician. So I've seen this kind of thing before, kind of, but not really. I'm also just a creepy fuck who watches Six Feet Under and other, um, forensic stuff. Because for a hot minute, I actually considered, like, wanting to go back to school for forensic science. Okay. Here we go. Time for- time for fun! Excuse me? Stop that. Don't do this. This is the demon, I think. This is the one I probably have to burn. There we go. Insert eye caps to keep eyes shut. Down, down below. Uh, now it's embalming time, right? Yeah. I can't hold anything else. Damn it! I'm gonna have to drop this. I can't drop it. Item cannot be dropped, okay. need some of this crazy shit. The reagent. Damn it. Okay. Now we need that, this, and I'm gonna have to drop again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You know, I'm cool here.
All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a real quick break because it's been like two hours and that just happened. So, um, before I, you know, pee in my pants, let's take a quick break.